But I wanted to take this opportunity to say some things to you guys that uh, I haven't said in a long time. Uh, I remember that uh, first meeting we had in uh, 1989 before that uh, uh, opening of the, of the football season. And I wanted to try to prepare you for the upcoming season. I didn't want to scare you to death, but I wanted to try to pre prepare you for what it was going to be like. If, if I remember correctly, and some of you guys can certainly remember better than me, that I, I tried to give you about three principles to follow. I wanted you to know that you were going to have to be your own role model. All you guys were about the same age, about 18 years old, and uh, you didn't have any upperclassmen to fall back on to tell you what's right and what's wrong, what you needed to do and what you didn't need to do. So you sort of had to do it for yourself. And I reminded you that since you were now 18 years old, that you were at the age of responsibility, that you had to take responsibility for everything you did, for when you went to bed, for when you got up, whether you went to class or you skipped class, whether you brushed your teeth, Although Corey Beard said one time that football players are so tough that they don't brush their teeth. So I knew that you, this was one thing that you had to do. The other thing that I thought that was important to you is I knew you were going to get knocked down during that season. But what you needed to do is if you got knocked down, and I know you've heard this time and time again, year after year, from probably from every coach who ever coached you. But you got to get up, and you got to go again. And I'll just say this to you right now: you guys took that lesson to heart because you never quit, you never gave up. And you always tried your very best to win the football games. I think for the most part, you took my advice on all three principles. I said for the most part, you guys took my advice for all three principles. I recall that there was one time when I wish I hadn't have given you that idea that you were totally at the age of responsibility. Because we had a guy on our team who was a male stripper. And you guys buddied up to him unbelievable. But I finally had to run the guy off because I knew he was a bad influence on you. The other thing was that I thought you took to heart that you were the guy who was making the decision that you could drink as much beer as you wanted to. And you knew how much to stop with and how much to start with. The third principle that we talked about was getting knocked down. You took as gospel. You also, you always got up to fight another battle. I want to say this to you. You guys had more grit than any bunch of football players I ever played with or coached. And y'all were tops in this category. And I think that this had a lot to do with what you've done with your life since you finished your days of football at SMU. I can't tell you how proud I am of you all. I, I recently finished a book 
And the one thing that I regret in that book is I didn't have a chance to mention every guy's name in this room. But what I do is I hope all you guys continue to succeed as you have, and I know that you will. And a message from Mrs. Gregg says she loves you all and she wishes you the best. And I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for all you did for me. Thanks.